Today's video is sponsored by Rich Reviews. Rich Reviews now provides services to support our viewers in purchasing their own dream supercar. Our services currently include pre-purchase inspection, support calls and collection video to document you collecting your own dream supercar. More information in the description below. Hope you enjoy the video guys. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Rich Reviews. Today we're off to Prescott, Italia, which is an event at the Prescott Hill Climb just for Italian cars. We've, we've stopped to meet a few, few guys on the way at Nero's in Sirencester. We've got a, a 308 in front, a 355. We're on our 458 Spider. We've got an F12 behind, and behind that we've got an immaculate 430, Ferrari 430. And incidentally, the 430 is the one that was lent to Damien from the channel car guys got a lovely day today so it should be great weather for a great supercar drive Just driving out of Sirens Nester along some great roads. We got the 308 behind us. Fair, fair kudos to the 308. He's kept right up with us. Absolutely awesome. Just waiting here at a roundabout for the F12 and the 430 to catch up, so we're back off again. Driving for a, a quiet village now, well actually quiet town, so we keep it all very calm, don't annoy anybody and it's not fair, you know, we've got a few Ferraris here, it's, it's not fair to upset people etc and that's not what it's about driving these cars. So even though a lot of people think that we just want to annoy everybody in these cars, it's just it's not the case, you know, not in our group anyway. You know, we drive very sensibly, very calmly through towns and villages and enjoy the scenery and at the end of the day it's beautiful driving these cars at this sort of pace as well as you know pushing on a bit but uh i just want to do a correction as well it's not a 308 it's a 328 that's behind but even so it's mega impressive it's keeping up so kudos to the driver for uh for keeping up it's uh, doing really well really impressive and looks absolutely stunning in the rear view mirror as well beautiful cars love the 308 and the 328 made very famous by Mr. Magnum, of course, in Magnum PI. We've got an R8 in front of us as well. You see behind we've got the 328, the F12, and behind the F12, the 430. Just as an aside, we're actually in the, in the town of the beautiful town of Cheltenham. This is where I actually went to university. So it's a beautiful area and very bizarrely, my son's actually on the same campus as me now many, many years ago. So my son's um, doing his filmmaking degree in Cheltenham. So if you ever wondered why we, our content is quite, is very cinematic with regards to many with our subscriber base, it's because my son, who's the videographer, is doing a, a filmmaking degree, is training to be a proper filmmaker. So it bleeds into both. 
his talents as a filmmaker obviously crosses between his degree and the channel so both benefit a few people have mentioned as well about uh, mentioning about which watches i'm wearing i used to do that before but i didn't think people were interested so let me know in the comments if you're interested in me doing a, a wristwatch check usually watches and cars go together but what i'm actually wearing is the the Omega Speedmaster, it's actually the 50th anniversary, so it's quite rare. It's the only Speedmaster with a black enameled dial. And it's got the 3201 movement in it, just for those nerds who are interested. <laughs> just arriving now at Prescott. Your people, um, my viewers, will recognize the area from when we came here a few weeks back. The parking is just on the left-hand side for other cars, but I believe because it's Prescott Italia day today, it's obviously not as many cars as it was for the for the hill climb championship so i think we're only using the actual hill climb area for parking today so we're here at prescott hill climb again as you know from the previous times we were here, um, it's, it's one, of the, one of the oldest hill climbs that's in the UK. Um, this is the parking area. This area is usually reserved for um, the cars that actually go up the hill, so um, track day cars, etc. Um, today, this is all the Ferrari enclosure, so this has got all our cars here and, and all the Ferrari owners club. It's the Prescott Italia event, so obviously Italian cars. So we just go for a walk down and, and show you or we'll talk about some of the cars that are actually here within this compound. We just walk, we talk about the cars as we go this way and then we come back and go up forward. So we've got a, a 328 here. This 328 was a car that was following us, um, doing exceptionally well keeping up. So um, almost like this has been tuned, but I don't think it has been tuned. It's just uh, the driver is, uh, I think the driver actually does track days, so he's quite a good qualified driver. We've got a 430 manual here. Now this is the car that's actually featured on the Car Guys recently, on the Car Guys YouTube channel. Damien drove this car. This is an immaculate 430 manual. We're hoping to be able to create some content on this car. Got a Ferrari 488 here. This is um, one of the guys who's a uh, coordinator for the Cotswold region of Ferrari Owners Club. So if there's any Cotswold region um, viewers here, hi guys. Um, we're here with the Cotswolds region today, so um, great, great region to join and great region to do events with. We move down here, we've got a Ferrari 308. This looks pretty much, we've got 348 just leaving. We've got a 308 here. This is in pretty much immaculate condition as well. It's in beautiful condition. Moving down the line, got another 348 in really good condition. Coming down the line, we've got a beautiful Ferrari 355, another 488 cool number plate on the 488 and an F12 at the end and we're just coming up to the back of where the cars are parked we've got a beautiful 275 here which is an absolutely stunning car this is very much the dialing of the event today look at the tires on there that's how they used to build tires back in the day when a lot of suspension was provided in the actual tire walls stunning car reminds me a lot of the 250 California we're moving from further down here we've got a 430 Spider looks in very good condition as well interesting um, coloring on the wheels it's almost like titanium coloring it probably is titanium actually titanium powder coated and obviously crema comfort seats inside so just walking up on the right hand side here we've got a Murcielago we've got a Cantash we've got an Aventador SVJ got a Hurric um, Hurricane Performante and we've got this beautiful 246 GT here. Now this 246 GT has been owned by the owner since new. So only five people have ever driven this 246. It's done 17,000 miles from new and everything on this car is original. Everything, the paintwork, everything. It's never had any paint. The engine's never been out on this car. We've got a 488 Pista here, which has got the Nart stripe down the center, white and blue Nart stripe, carbon side skirts, Got some wind, uh, white pinstriping down the side of the car as well, along the skirts, along the top of the skirts. Carbon fibre rear diffuser, so that's quite impressive. So it's a very high spec piece there. But I'm not too sure if the carbon fibre rear rear diffuser is standard spec on the on the pieces or not. See the owner's taking his number plate off. I think that might be for going up the hill. I think he might have actually gone up the hill in this car. And gold wheels finishing off the spec. Beautiful cars. 
It'll be interesting to see where the prices go on these pistas going in the future, whether or not they're going to drop, because quite a few of these pistas were made, and of course they weren't um, limited in their numbers, weren't definitively limited. we get a bit of a, a bit of a drive before we get to the to the potting shed um, and then we'll uh, look to close out the video our journey back from Prescott up to the potting shed restaurant which is actually near Malmesbury and it's uh, pretty cool driving behind the 355 again if any of my viewers know where I can get some Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's K1 rated so that's the Ferrari K1 rating 235 size for the front please let me know in the comments below because I just cannot get hold of any. And I could put N Porsche rated N0s on the front, but I'd rather have K1s all round. I can get the K1s, 295s on the, for the rear, no problem. But Michelin just aren't making the 235 size at the moment in K1. I don't know why, but it's just how it is. The tread's really good, no problems with the tread, but it's just that the tyres are quite old. They're not super old, but they're old enough to make me want to change them. Just arrived now, at, uh, it's actually not the potting shed, so we've arrived at a different place called the Bar First Arms. So this is where we're eating today. Apparently this is a very good place for food. So we're gonna be eating today, and then we'll be on the drive back. So we close out now from the Bar First Arms. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up, give it a like, some great future content to come, and we're gonna catch you in the next video.